Hello and good evening. Welcome to News to Go. Tonight, we have a developing story happening right now at the plantation in Brazil. Giving you more details on this developing story, News to Go reporter Cameron Bins is live at the scene right now. Cameron? Thank you. I am at the scene of the plantation in Brasilia, as you can see behind me. Unfortunately, it's an off-limits to the reporters and public. Um, but there were reports and warnings of deadly fire troops and fire ants. Mr. Lanigan, the plantation owner, was told that the ants could not be stopped, since there were thousands of them. But he knew that they needed to take action right away. Today afternoon, deadly fire ants had overthrown the plantation. In the past few hours, Mr. Lanigan has already built a dam to stop the ants from coming into the plantation. He has tried very hard to stop the ants from destroying the plantation, but the ants are so deadly they cannot be stopped. We wish that Mr. Lennigan would be here to speak with us about what's happening right now, but he, he refused to be on camera with us. But he will keep us updated on these deadly fire ants. We will be back tomorrow on News to Go for this developing story. Good evening. Welcome to News to Go. Tonight we have more details on this deadly fire ant story. And again, Tonight, we have a reporter live at the scene. Cameron? Good evening. I'm here again at the plantation in Brazil, and I have more on this developing story. Today, Mr. Lanigan and his workers have tried very hard to stop the ants. Mr. Lanigan has updated us on the developing story with a few facts. He has led some of the fire ants to the fallow field and keeping a large portion of the ants in canals. He says the ants will be unable to cross over unless they are able to think of something smart. We will have more updates on this after the break. Welcome back. Right now I am on the location of the plantation in Brazil, where Mr. Lanigan has alerted me that the ants have started to build bridges. They've started to build bridges with the bodies of the troops they have sacrificed themselves of drowning in the water. Mr. Lanigan will be opening a series of gates that will increase and let more water in. Soon the ants will be washed away, and so will the bridges that we have built. We will keep you updated with the story. From the plantation in Brazil, I'm Cameron Bins. Back to you, Matthew. Go. Hello. I am here once again to give you more coverage on the plantation story. Tonight we have some good news and bad news. Earlier today, Mr. Lenigan had poured petroleum to burn the ants and also release water. But while he was turning the wheel to let water in, Mr. Lenigan actually got got off the wheel and fell. During this time, he was on the ground. Mr. Lennigan's body was covered with millions of fire ants. Mr. Lennigan has suffered from bites and bruises and pain from the ants. One of the ants had bit him close to the nerves of his eyes, but he managed to get up. Mr. Lennigan suffered more as bites affected him more. The petroleum he used to bite burning and flaming, he had told us that he had lost consciousness. He was then brought into r the ranch. During the time Mr. Lanigan was resting and recovering, he had done it. He achieved his goal and he killed the ants. Mr. Lanigan was very happy, but he had also flooded his plantation. But he told us he was very happy he got rid of those deadly fire ants. Live from the plantation in Brasilia, I'm, this has been Cameron Bins. Back to you, Matt. <laughs> Go! Action! Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I am at the scene. Of I didn't say action. Oh my god! <laughs> what the? <laughs> Did you say action? Action! Action! I'm not ready. Okay. 